Hey guys, it's Chewy from the network. So I hadn't done a video in a while of uh, ride share and a couple things have come up with me with reservations. So I, I've done a short about reservations and are they good or bad? And for me, in the most part, it's worked out. But lately, it's been a clusterfuck. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple things of why I, I mean by that. And that uh, in part, the reservation can be good but it's also another way of Uber controlling your driving um, uh, routes and everything. And so you have to be careful of that when you, when you do get these uh, reservation requests and pick them um, selectively. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you a couple screenshots and I'm going to explain to you why I think that um, reservations all being good can also be a bad. Remember, it's, it's just the algorithm spitting something at you. Stay tuned, guys. So if you see here, it shows a Hawthorne pickup to LAX for $37.17, then a Beverly Hills pickup to Play Del Rey for $38.21, and along the way of going to my $37.17 job, a $75.45 Calabasas to LAX came up. So I took it, and then in the process of taking it, um, I was within 10 minutes, 10 miles of picking up, Rider cancel. So that's why I say never put stock on a reservation. You could get canceled. So then afterwards, I had a uh, 2317 Sherman Oaks to Mid Wilshire offered to me, as well as a 4667 San Pedro to Fullerton. But they're both in close areas. Not going to work if you're not going to work those areas. So and then this morning, I ended up getting an uh, West Hollywood to LAX. Luckily, the rider didn't cancel and I ended up getting a $10 tip. So the rule of thumb, take the reservations that work in your best favor and watch the rides that they send you. So guys, ultimately what it comes down to is reservations are good and the bad. Um, they're good when uh, you can get what you wanna do, plan your day around it, but then you have to remember there's a very good chance you might get canceled by the writer, as I had explained in these previous screenshots. Uh, but then also, if they did, they don't get canceled, um, just remember that the algorithm spits you this job for a reservation. And they're going to try to fit as many jobs onto you before you get to that reservation. The algorithm also doesn't understand that you might lapse over time. And that you miss that window to actually get that ride. So when you do see these rides, if you can control the narrative, the narrative meaning if jobs come up on trip radar or they just come up and you have the 15 seconds and the wherewithal to decide, okay, it's going where I need to go. Well, yeah, it's not rocket science. Take it. This will make your ride to your reservation less of a dead ride uh, just from experience it's it's been work worked well and it hasn't worked well because I have tried to do rides that were set up and I didn't take any rides before and they worked fine and other rides that I did did take didn't do the rides it still got canceled anyway so it's a crap shoot so anything like this, you just have to take a chance. So, you know, I share these got this information with you, not as a as a, a be all know all. Some of you've been around longer than me. Some of you started long before I started in 2016. But ultimately, um, you have to decide how much money you want to make. Don't let Uber or Lyft or any of the rideshare companies decide to you how much you're gonna make. You decide how much you're going to make. You decide how much you're going to drive on the road. And if you want to take that $3 drive ride or that $4 ride, I'm not going to blame you. That's what you could do. But you can't complain, bitch, and moan when you don't get the money that you should be getting paid. And yes, we know you're not fully getting paid the amount that you're supposed to on each fare. That's why you cherry pick. Cherry pick. Cherry pick. So until next time, hope you guys have a great productive day. Have, go have a good one. Peace out.